everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to uh, trim a particular video uh, using the media 3 transformer library uh, so in native android application obviously so yeah let's get started so here as you can see i have one activity so i have created two activities in the first activity like the main activity i am playing a video from a video url and in the second activity i am actually picking a video from the file explorer so here i have one uh, video playing from a uh, network uh, url from uh, this uh, video is stored on a server uh, now if i want now uh, here you can see in my code i want to trim this particular uh, video right so it is 25 seconds long video but i want to trim it from uh, 10 seconds so the starting point is 10 second and the ending point is 20 second here uh, instead of hard coding this you can ask the user for the input most probably if you are making a video editing app you will ask the user for the input uh, or you might have some sliders as well or uh, you can uh, make it on top of uh, this video so that it automatically uh, calculates what is the starting and ending position but yeah i don't want to, to complicate this too uh, too much that's why i have kept it simple so first if i so that's what it is i have hard coded the value you can keep take it as an input as well so if i click on trim it asks me for permission first now for trimming the video you don't require any permission this permission is only for saving the video to external storage now i will just scroll over here so this is the new way of giving external storage permission so i'll just select uh, check this checkbox for my particular app i will go back and it has started the uh, trimming procedure so it is displaying a progress bar to the user okay uh, the trimming process has started and here you can see it has displayed the trimmed video as well now he, he, here you can see it is 10 second long video because 20 minus 10 is 10 but the original video was 25 seconds long so it has properly trimmed our video and also if i show you previously i had just uh, th three videos now it has uh, saved four videos as well okay uh, now i will show you it i will show it for you uh, the second activity as well so what i'll do i'll just simply copy paste ignore this error like this is an android studio issue uh, android studio is not able to recognize for some reason so i will open second activity now and in the second activity it will actually ask me to pick video from file explorer now trimming of the video can take time it depends on how long your how big or how complex your video is so here in the second thing i will pick a long video which is 10 minutes long even though we are trimming it for just 10 seconds it depends on other external factors as well so if i click on pick video button now it opens the video picker again for video picking we don't require any permission i'm using the new api i'll select this nine ten, almost 10 minutes long video okay so it has started playing i'll quickly pause it you don't need to pause it just so that it is it has an audio and it it uh, confuses me a lot because i'm speaking currently to you that's why uh, but as you can see it has uh, trimmed the video as well and the video length is 10 seconds as i can show you but the original video was 10 minutes long so yeah let's see how to do this so uh, i have created two activities you don't need to create it just for simplicity sake i have created two activities next inside android manifest i have added the internet permission because in the first uh, example i was uh, loading a video from a url and uh, for older versions of android for saving file to external storage we require this read write external storage permission but for newer version to save file we require this manage external storage permission next uh, you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and here you will this first three libraries are for playing the video using exo player and this three last three libraries are for uh, transforming the video or editing the video whatever you want to call it next this uh, ref these libraries are referenced inside our libs.versions.toml so this is the library version and you also need to add this bit of stuff so just copy paste it next you will have to click sync now then i will just show you our activity underscore main so here i have created one player view uh, okay so this will play the original video this will play the modified video like the trimmed video and this one button for trimming the video 
and this progress bar to display to the user that okay the procedure of trimming is going on similarly for activity underscore mean i have taken one button for picking video then one player view for playing the normal video the second player view for uh, playing the trimmed video uh, then this button for uh, trimming our video and this is the progress bar for displaying it to the user now the code for main activity and second activity is, all, mm, is almost same so i will explain uh, main activity in depth second activity i will just scroll through it i will only explain the video picking part uh, so first inside main activity i have created uh, two exo players i have also referenced our player view and progress bar i have created our file name variable now this is like boilerplate code for exo player this transformer is required for uh, video editing here i have created one file variable and this is the uh, path from which we are playing the video from a network url and these are the required permissions like uh, again for older android versions and this is how we require uh, permissions require multiple permission if the permission is not granted i display a toast message otherwise we call setup transformer and this is the new way of uh, requesting for uh, permission of external storage uh, where we have to request for manage external storage permission and if that is given we call setup transformer here we are requesting external storage permission it so it basically opens the settings app where the user has to check the uh, toggle the checkbox and if you see i have created one method for manage external storage permission as well uh, next inside on create i have initialized our progress bar as well as our player views and on button click i just called a request transformer permission okay so here is how we are initializing our first exo player view uh, this is how you initialize our uh, second exo player view and here we are releasing our both of the players uh, and on start we are initializing our uh, input player like the first player view on stop we are releasing our player on resume we are resuming our player and on pause we are uh, pausing our player if you uh, you can also write logic to pause your second player view as well if only it is running otherwise you don't have to uh, write that code because if you have already trimmed the particular uh, trimmed uh, the first video and the second video is already playing then you might have to write a logic of pausing that video on the on pause lifecycle hook but you don't need to write it on on resume because on resume you currently don't have any video when the uh, when you load the activity for the very first time and in on destroy we are just releasing our player and in request transformer permission uh, so we just basically again ask for permission and if it is given we just set up our transformer and if you see setup transformer we are just uh, like if the output player is already initialized we uh, stop it and release it and here we call our transform video so this is important so we first display our progress bar then we create an array list of effect we add our listener of transformer as well so if you see at the top i am extending the transformer dot listener and because of this we are also overriding two methods which i will show you shortly so if you see we have added this listener then we require the input item so we pass our video url and now this is the important part setting clipping configuration so here you can set the start position and end position now you can ask the user for the input so again it is in milliseconds so be careful with that otherwise if you want you can hard code it and here i have created an edited item as well if you want to remove audio as well you can just uncomment this but i have already created a video on remo just removing the audio so if you are curious you can watch that and this is we create an external file and start our transformer so this is the code for creating external file uh, this is how we save video to above api level 29 if you want it for below api level 29 as well you can follow my video on how to save it to the downloads folder because saving file in android is extremely complicated so yeah this is how i do it and uh, because we were uh, extending transformer listener we also have two methods overridden on completed and on error and on completed we just initialize our output player we uh, set it visibility as true and here we are also saving it to our external storage if you don't want it you can just comment this out and you also don't require permission in android manifest and here we are just uh, uh, disabling or hiding our progress bar 
and in on error we are hiding both output player and progress bar and displaying a toast message now second activity is almost the same so okay so this part is same all this part is same but we don't have video url at the start and for that once the external storage permission is given uh, i call this launch new video picker which uh, only shows visual media with videos in it and once the user picks a video we get a uri which i assign it to our video url and then we initialize our input player previously we were initializing it on on start and on resume but here we are only initialize it initializing it once we have the video url rest everything else remains the same so i'll just simply scroll through this if you want you can just pause the video and copy paste the code is exactly like uh, the main activity So this is how you save your video on completed callback on error callback so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye